making improvement to my Roscop watch. Hey guys, Jacques here. So I'm working on some improvement on, on my Roscop watch. So almost double the swing of the balance wheel by adding bearings to it. I was checking how much swing I had in my different watches and this is what I found. My first watch with the Swiss lever escapement, bearings and a steel spring you can see how much spring there is bouncing, I should say. So it goes for quite a while. And this is when it's against the wall, it's pretty much the same. Then my first Roscop watch has 45 to 60 degree swing, not much, but if I take everything out and just test the, the decay, it's like just a few back and forth and it dies. Against the wall it's even worse, there's really too much friction in the pivot of the balance wheel. So I'm adding those little guys. <laughs> it's diameter 2 by 5 by 2.3 millimeter width. Could take off the shield. I would even gain more, uh, less friction maybe. This was my first balance wheel. You can see those two pins engage with the anchor. The idea is to have a steel against PLA friction, not PLA against PLA. And then the next step, anchor is in two parts. All the, the pins will join the anchor and I have the dart. The safety dart will engage with that notch. Okay, you can see when it turns. So I have to test that, I haven't tested it yet, but hopefully it works. So the balance wheel has the bearings in the middle, it'd be hard to see, but and uh, much better swing. You can hear it still has some speed difference between this, this, Uh, it does keep on going. <laughs> the PLA, PLA spring doesn't have much bounce. I'm sure that once I have a steel spring, piano wire, uh, spiral, it will be even better. But still, I'm going to also double the, the motor spring. On the back here, put two springs to have more power, and then it should give me something like this. That's what I'm looking for. The other thing I'm experimenting is putting the escape wheel on a one millimeter piano wire. I had two millimeters before I want to try with one millimeter. So I have those top plates. So getting a one millimeter hole when using a 0.4 nozzle yeah, that's start getting challenging. So I use a pick to kind of just shape the hole a little bit and then now I need to start doing some tools like this 
I need to grind it so it has a nice taper that hole here it's bigger on this side and it's a taper in fury one millimeter on this end but then I can use my tool and go through the hole and it's still tight too tight <laughs> Would be too much friction but now I just need to work it until I have just the little adjustment that I need so that's precision mechanic <laughs> the last thing because if I had like this gear so here against the plate that would be too much friction so my idea is have so the gear will come on the tight side and then instead of having the gear against the plate what I'm going to do is a little plate that will come fixed with this hole with a screw and it will push against the end of the the arbor so only friction that there will be at the end of the arbor is the arbor against the plate like this so that's a much smaller area than having this so lots of little things to improve and then also started the clutch for the hands so the gear the gear that will power the hands is glued on a steel washer and then on the barrel I have some little magnets then the gear comes like this and then the magnets hold gives the friction just needed to power the hands This would be like here. This gear is going to drive the hour hand in the middle. This plate will replace this back plate here. That's it for the improvement at this time. I need to put all of those things together and see how it goes. So stay tuned, please like, subscribe and I'll see you in next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.